Hello YouTube. There is a book about Nintendo made by a very good company, well known, called Pix and Love Editions. It, this is the Volume 1 edition. Um, I'm not actually promoting this book, I'm just giving my own thoughts and details on this book. And it happens to be the best book um, ever made that covers basically everything made by Nintendo. The only shameful thing is, is that it's in French, so anybody who doesn't know French, like me, will have troubles reading it. But there are plenty of pictures in here to read. Um, I don't know if this book is actually still in existence or not. I think they're actually going to release an English version by the end of this year. But, but I'm not sure because I bought this many months ago when it first came out. Uh, it cost 19 euros, which is quite a bit for a book, but you do get quite a bit of information in this book. So, um, you know, it does cover basically a lot of the stuff that we already know about that was made by Nintendo, which include the playing cards from the uh, 18th, 19th centuries, the, uh, the toys, so you've got playing cards, but we've already, lots of us do know about playing cards already. Um, we've got toys made by, for kids, we've got the electronic computer games, uh, you've got the um, Ultra Hand there that was designed by Gunpei Yokoi in 1966, that was the first ever toy that Nintendo did launch. Um, other interesting toys here, the crossover, some other puzzles, the uh, 10 billion barrel puzzle. But I'm just skipping through this because these are the parts that a lot of us do know about when we do our research. Um, so yeah, different toys and board games for kids. But I was coming to a very, very um, interesting chapter. See, we've got more electronic toys here. But we knew that they made playing cards. We knew that they made toys for kids. We knew that they made electronic devices, um, like the Hoover that some of us know about. But it, when, if you've got this book, if you get to page 169, um, this is the most interesting chapter, in my opinion, in this whole book. This is about the other products that Nintendo made. So page 169, chapter 6, this is the best product, uh, best chapter for what Nintendo made. And what I'm about to show you is some very, very surprising things that they did make. First of all, if we go here, they actually made food for kids. So um, I have no idea what this is about, but it's something to do with Disney and Nintendo. Instant rice, apparently, which um, it says up here in the early 60s, which is ages and ages ago. But all I can really do is show you the pictures. But they actually did make rice for targeted towards kids to obviously make them eat more rice, more than likely, um, with Disney characters on, which obviously helped them make um, sort of convince them to eat the rice because I guess it was cool. And then there is a uh, description in French. One of the most bizarre items made by Nintendo though, which I don't think anybody does know about, is the fact that they made a pushchair pram for kids in 1970. They actually made a pushchair for kids. And as you can see, you've got the Nintendo logo there, um, which basically says that it was made by Nintendo. How bizarre is that? I mean, without reading this book, I wouldn't have known anything about this. A push chair made by Nintendo, and you've got an actual um, publication there of, um, you know, like an advert with Nintendo logo there. So that's really interesting. But it, it gets better, it doesn't even stop there. We've got the candy machine, which again, uh, quite a few of us know about. But if we skip another page. We've got actual IKEA-inspired furniture here that Nintendo sold. Um, I know this is probably years before IKEA existed. I don't know. I'm not an expert on furniture, but yes, this is what you're looking at is from 1972. Is furniture made by Nintendo? You've seen a pushchair pram made by Nintendo. Now there's actual furniture. How bizarre is that? I'm, I'm taking it these are just screenshots from the actual uh, TV advert as well, which I haven't actually seen. But the this is made by Nintendo, 1970. So Nintendo have actually tried probably every single sort of market in existence before eventually stopping with um, uh, and settling down with video games. But this is 
just unusual to say the least and then here we've got office pens and felt tip markers made by Nintendo and as you can see you've got actual um, Nintendo logos on the pens these are felt tip pens these were from 1972 and they're actual pens that they sold as well and then finishing off this chapter with the probably the most bizarre is of this the Nintendo copyless copier file machine from 1971 that was pretty expensive I've only ever seen one on eBay but they um, basically made these copying machines for offices and businesses and yeah this was made by Nintendo as well so and it seems to be quite an interesting big item as it's a four page spread it's not just a little paragraph or one page or two pages taken up this is um there's another two pages on this with better better quality images now I'm just showing you as best as possible because I know there's a lot of people who don't own this book I actually hardly know anybody who does own the book so showing it to you this way is probably the best way for you to find out about what Nintendo did besides just making toys and um, game and watch games before the Famicom existed so yeah I just wanted to show you that guys um, pretty interesting book like I say so you know please do try and get it if you can um, I think there's an English version coming out soon but yeah, definitely recommend this book to anybody and I hope you've learned something by watching this video. I know I certainly have. So um, thanks for watching, take care and there will be another video up shortly. Goodbye for now.